All right, sit down, fellas. Let me give y'all one. And this is a WTF moment, so uh, it might be a little shocking, but, uh, you know, we we go get to it. Anyway, uh, once upon a time, early 2000s, uh, I meet this chick on South Beach who happens to live in Sunny Isles that's like about 30 minutes away from South Beach, right? Um, Me and her get it in. We cool. I go over there, go see her often, and she had this vibe. Like, uh, the, she kind of gives you a picture of what I was dealing with. She was dark. All right, the mo- the the TV show, A Different World, she she was like the skin complexion of Kim, but she had the personality of Freddie, right? She was like a hippie in a sense, right? She walks around in the backyard barefooted on the grass. Uh, she liked, you know, sunflowers and lilies and she uh she uh she's into the whole organic and no red meat uh you know apples fruits she makes like little juices and all that and she was into the the crystals and the sage she had an Erica Badu uh India Ari type of vibe right okay um so and with this uh pause well, we're gonna take a little quick stop on this. Uh, fellas, this is where you would, uh, I would tell you to be careful with who you court with, who you, uh, chill with, <clears throat> build a relationship with and, uh, who you lay down with because, uh, what you're doing is you're opening up doors and portals for different spirits to enter into your life when you interact with certain people and bring them into your world and it's vice versa. Right. And whatever you deem applicable, you um, you keep and whatever you find to be uh, dishonorable, you kind of let go. Right. But some spirits are very manipulative and you can be naive to what's going on and you will take hold of certain things as time goes. So be careful with that. This is kind of like one of those moments. But nevertheless, um, as I go out and I start kicking it with her from time to time, um, as time goes, sexual relations start getting involved, right? And I didn't have a problem with with it at all, but it was just this one thing that she was very into, like, uh, putting cum on her face, right? It was weird because she was enthused with this. She wanted it. She, like, she... That was the the highlight for her, right? And you know, she's like, put it on my. And that was she was like the first woman I ever met that was kind of like into that, right? It was a little weird to me. Uh, I'd have done it. I probably done it before, but it was this one who I seen who was like boldly into it. Um, nevertheless, um, uh, one day, uh, she asked me to do it and I'm like, okay. And you know, and she's rubbing it in and she's like, yeah, whatever. And, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow. And she's, and you know, as time goes, then as time goes, she comes to me and she's, she makes like these little smoothies and these drinks. And she gives me one and she say, here, try this. And I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good. She was like, no, you should try it. Besides, you should drink more water and uh, and and more fruits and juices because I could taste it. I didn't get where she was coming from at the time, right? And besides, I was like Mountain Dew King back then. And anybody that know me, they knew. Like, that was one drink I didn't play about, right? Mountain Dew was my thing. Uh, it wasn't Coke, it wasn't Pepsi, Sunkiss, Dr. Pepper, Sprite. It was Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, Cold Red. It, and that was me, right? But I took on, I tried it, inviting, you know, her spirits into my world, right? So I, um, I, I did two weeks, probably even more, where it was just water, cranberry juice, apple juice, you know, fruits. When I go over there and I kick it with her, you know, she'll make like little juices in the blender. Um, she would go like to the strawberry patch. I think it was down south. 
she'll go down there and like pick up stuff, pick up strawberries and natural fruits and she'll make these juices. I drank them. So fast forwarding, uh, one day we in there, we get it in and she says, I want it. I, I want this in my face. And I'm like, all right, then whatever. Right. So I, I give it to her and she's bathing in this. All right. And I'm sitting there and I'm dumping it all on her and she's rubbing it in and she's licking it. It's like she's eating it. And I'm like, I'm looking like, what the? And before I can say anything out my mouth, she goes here and she boom. And she puts it in and I go, what the? And, I, and I'm like startled. And then I, then I, I taste it. And I'm like, First of all, I, I I didn't know whether to hit her or to shake her hand, right? Because it tastes like the cranberries and it tastes sweet, right? Oh, uh, and I was thrown. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, nah, nah, don't ever do that again, right? And she was like, that's what I was trying to tell you. So, and I'm just thrown because... Bitch, you just probably put a baby in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, but getting back to the grown man of this, being adults about the conversation, um, saying all that to say this. First of all, fellas, you are what you eat, right? Uh, she was one that wasn't into the, the whole fast foods and, you know, and, and more like home-cooked meals, but she didn't eat red meat or steaks, I guess, and, she was pescatarian or whatever, and, um, you know, she was into the whole organic things, I guess, right? Uh, she ate healthy, basically. And uh, she was asking for it because she was treating what I had like it was skincare, <laughs> right? If you, I'm talking about she's rubbing this stuff on like a mask. She's walking around for like 10, 15 minutes with this stuff on, then she's peeling it off. And I'm just sitting there like amazed. I'm thrilled. Be and she's like, oh, it helps my skin. It's nutrients and blah, 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 blah. And it's nutritious. And, blah, 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 blah. and I'm just like, okay. And she made it. It was a practice. That wasn't the one time, the only time that I saw her do it. It was a couple more times after that, right? And, and I'm also giving you this. If you, with your girl... And you want her to want that, like how her homegirl was on this? Put down the sodas, put down the Hennessy, because maybe that's what they're tasting. Because I, you ask certain girls, they be like, "Oh, it tastes like acid, and it don't taste good, and it tastes salty, it tastes this." It's what we're eating. All right, this girl wore this thing like a mask, and she's like, "Oh, it helped my skin glow, or whatever the case is." And I'm like, "Ah, all right, though, but I ain't putting it on my face, but." You know, but she liked it, you know. So if you want your girl to be into that, treat your body a little better. Drink water. She'll probably put it in a bottle and save it for later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> y'all boys dwell on that for a moment.